And welcome back to the program this Sunday morning. Now I want to tell you about some people I met that say local limo company took them for a ride. In some cases, the limo never showed up, and customers also reported fraudulent charges on their credit cards. A liar. Definitely a scam artist. The search is on for a wanted man. This is it right here. A man who police say has been operating an illegal business in Metro Atlanta. What do you think of Rashid Fayal? Con artist. Criminal. Very savvy, charming con artist. He just hurt a lot of people. These three women said each of them were scammed by comfortable transportation lines, a limousine company run by Rashid Fayal. He is pretty much targeting women in this. It was a Dahlonega wine tour, and you know, the women love the vineyards here <laughs> in Georgia. But what these ladies don't love is being ripped off. He stole money. They said comfortable transportation lines charged them hundreds of dollars and never showed up for the trip. So I had authorized $175 for a couple of additional hours and then ad an additional person. And then he charged another $425 on that. So all told, it was $625. Last Monday, I got another charge on my card from him for, it was only $35, but you know, it was two months after the fact. <laughs> The victim said they found out about this limo to nowhere online from sites like Half Off Depot, Locally, and Living Social. The deal was for a day trip to the North Georgia wineries, something Cheryl Bargatze had planned for her 50th birthday. But the limo was a no-show. He just hurt a lot of people. He took a lot of um, memories. Away. CBS Atlanta uncovered some details about Rashid Fayal. We found that he has a criminal record and his business is not licensed by the state. Plus, there were warrants out for his arrest for account fraud and operating without a license. So in search of justice for the victims, we hit the streets to look for Fayal. His business address was a UPS store in Kennesaw. Management there said he failed to pay them and hadn't been seen in six months. We then traveled to half a dozen other locations and even spotted Cobb County deputies out looking for Fayal. It's another mailbox store. Rashid Fayal hasn't had a P.O. box here in about three years. And after a long day of searching, we decided to check one more location in Cherokee County. Rashid? How are you doing? Hey, Adam Murphy, uh, CBS Atlanta News. We found Fayal at a home in Aquaroo. There are currently warrants out for your arrest. For mine? Yes. Okay. The, the company is registered under your name with right, the state right. of Georgia. Hold on one second. So while Fayal made a call, we did too to 911. I have uh, located a wanted person. I'm a news reporter with CBS Atlanta News. If somebody doesn't get here quick, he, he may not get it. Minutes later, deputies arrived and found Fayal hiding in a bedroom closet. Rasheed, why were you taking advantage of consumers? And while the victims never got a ride from Fayal, they were content in knowing that he got a ride to jail. He was ruining events is what he was doing. That's awesome. That's great. I was happy. Yeah. That's what deserves right, to happen, you know? And thank you. Now, the women in this case have been working with Cobb County's fraud unit as the police investigate their claims on, of unauthorized charges. As for Fayal, he insisted he wasn't trying to rip people off. We spoke with some people that said comfortable transportation lines did show up for events. However, those customers said Fayal was either late or had a dirty limo. We've also learned that Fayal doesn't own a limo. He was contracting them. So before you hire a limo, you can always go and check and see if there is a list of licensed limousine carriers. You can do that. Of course, CBSAtlanta.com under web links, we have a link to all of those licensed limo carriers. And joining me now is Sean Conroy with the Governor's Office of Consumer Protection. I'm sure, Sean, you hear about complaints like this and others quite often, right? And so what do people need to know as far as when something like this happens, what should they do? Sure. Thanks. Thanks for having us, Adam. And the first thing that consumers want to do when they're searching for a service, whether it be limousine or, or whatnot, is you want to do your homework. You want to find out if, if the business that you're dealing with in a particular industry, especially if you're going to be... Um, paying a large sum of money is regulated. Uh, over the years, our legislature has passed laws that regulate various industries, and there could be any number of, of state agencies, or for that matter, or f uh, federal agencies that may license, regulate to some degree 
the business that you're interested in, in having a transaction with. Mm -hmm. uh, and you also want to see if there are any complaints out there. You want to check with a Better Business Bureau. You want to do the Google search and for that particular company to find out if it's, if it's the real deal. And of course, you need to have your radar up. If it, if it sounds too good to be true, it may be. Yeah, you know, and with Fayal, I recall when I began this investigation, I just began to search his name and then saw some history pop up online about him being arrested previously, mm -hmm. which put up a red flag. And here are some great consumer tips. Uh, if it's too good to be true, it probably is, like you talked about. Uh, secure credit and bank account numbers. Ask questions. Compare prices. Check licensing requirements. You can always contact the Governor's Office of Consumer Protection. Get everything in writing. Never sign incomplete contracts. Keep copies and receipts. Refunds are not always guaranteed. I mean, the list goes on and on, but these are really important tips for our viewers to take into account when they're dealing with a company. It may take a little bit of extra time to do your homework, but it really can save you in the long run. It does take extra time, and then we're in a busy world, and we want to get get the transaction done, but if you do your homework beforehand, you're going to save yourself a lot of problems later on. And once that money's out of your pocket, it's it's often hard to get it back. And if and one encouraging note I, I saw in the story is that the, the consumers did use a credit card in some situations, and there, there may be chargeback rights there. So you may have a dispute mechanism included in your in your credit card. If you just send a check or mm -hmm. if you send a money order, that money is really gone. Uh, so it, it is always wise. If you do mm -hmm. the other tips to, to check out the business beforehand is to use a credit card where you have dispute rights. That's an excellent point. That's something I always share with our viewers too. I mean, that way you can at least dispute it, like you said, and potentially get some money back uh, by using the credit card. But I mean, just a little bit of research. I mean, today too, with things being online and uh, so much information out there and accessible, uh, you know, it's easy a lot of times too for these scam artists to find ways to take advantage of you. So just spend a little bit of extra time on your own doing the homework, check with the Better Business Bureau, check with the Governor's Office of Consumer Protection. And it, I always tell people too, if there's one complaint, that's one too many. Correct, there could be, and, and that's just one person that complained, there could be many out there that you don't know about. Thank you so much. Sean Conroy, Governor's Office of Consumer Protection. We appreciate you being on the program, great advice. Okay, and when we come back, we'll have much more and we'll begin to wrap up the show here on Sunday.